Hello Healing Spot community. This is Justine Calderwood. I'm a physical therapist here at the Healing Spot and today I am talking about um, the question is physical therapy safe during pregnancy? So I wanted to jump on here and talk a little bit that yes it is absolutely safe to do physical therapy during pregnancy. Um, so I wanted to talk why and what kinds of things that we can help you with if you are currently pregnant and um, so I'm going to talk about some common things that I uh, help with. So first I wanted to say that um, not all physical therapists do uh, pregnancy and postpartum related care. So if you're going to a generalist physical therapist that sees a lot of different diagnoses, um, then you know that that physical therapist might not be super comfortable with treating um, you during pregnancy. Um, so I've done some special training. I'm a certified birth healing specialist through the Institute for Birth Healing. I was trained by Lynn Schulte. She's a physical therapist um, with over 30 years of experience and she has shared a lot of great information with me. I've done some extensive training with her and was recently certified in her program. So. Um, so I want to talk a little bit today about some of the things that um, a specialist like myself that um, that helps moms during pregnancy and postpartum and even women with chronic pain, um, kind of how I help uh, women in pregnancy. So um, one of the ways that I help uh, women during pregnancy is with pregnancy related pain. So pain, um, say in the low back, pain at the SI joints, back and through here, kind of those dimple areas that you might be feeling some pain, um, pelvic pain. Uh, uh, symphysis pubic dysfunction so um, here in the front I think my light is a little bit um Kind of washing things out uh, but anyway some pubic symphysis pain where you might be standing walking uh, moving in bed might be uncomfortable uh, where you're not getting enough sleep uh, those kinds of things and it's certainly as your body grows and changes and as the relaxin takes effects in those in the later stages of pregnancy um, your joints get looser and more mobile in preparation for childbirth but there's still a lot that we can do as physical therapists to help you safely um, that's going to be safe for you and your baby um, I also also help people with neck and neck pain um, and headaches migraines and things like that even during pregnancy and the amazing thing about physical therapy is that you know a lot of times I'm just using my hands I'm doing a lot of education um, for moms on this is what's going on in your body this is what you can do at home to help yourself this is how I see that you're holding yourself this is where you're tight at so I'm really doing a lot of education I think a lot of people think us physical therapists all we do is um, maybe sports rehab or if you've had an accident or a car accident then you go to a physical therapist but um, but that's not true like we do a lot of uh, treat a lot of different people in um, so let's see, another thing that I help uh, pregnant moms with is assessing the birth door. So really looking at the muscular function. So we are um, movement therapists, we know a lot about um, the, the you know how the bones move, the alignment, but also muscle function. So muscle strength, muscle, um, how long things should be, um, how much flexibility those muscles should have. So assessing the birth door is one of the things that I work on with my moms that are preparing for a vaginal birth. So we actually check the pelvic floor muscles and how tight they might be and there are ways to relieve that. Um, Let's see. I also check for bony um, alignment and also the ability for your pelvis to be able to move to allow for a vaginal delivery. So you can see this, this, this kind of opens um, from the top. As your baby comes down, the ilia have to open up like this and the sacrum moves back first to start with. Again, I think my lighting is not great. Um, and then as baby comes on through, the sits bones have to open up and the sacrum opens up this way. And so this is something that I check with my pregnant moms to make sure that the bony structure is moving the, the way it should. Because, you know, even just because you get pregnant doesn't mean your body forgets about all those other things that it's had stored in it from previous injuries and traumas and posture influences and, and stuff like that. So that can really take a toll, that pre-existing um, lack of mobility can really take a toll um, with your growing body. 
Okay, um, another thing that I check with my moms are, is uterine mobility. So meaning um, how well does baby move in mom's stomach? Where is baby sitting? Um, because you know sometimes baby sitting on one side not able to occupy the other side of, the, of mom's belly. And so working on that uterine mobility so that's something that can safely be assessed but also treated um, during pregnancy to help again with that vaginal delivery and get you the most smooth, the, the smoothest birth that you possibly can. Um, another thing that we do is teach about body mechanics, so how you're holding yourself, how that might be influencing um, the stress and strain in through your body. So, And even um, with functional activities, for instance, like taking care of yourself, putting your shoes on, getting in and out of bed, um, how you're standing. What kinds of activities do you need to do for your job? You might have a pretty physical job, so how can you move and how can you... Um, you know, protect yourself, but also your growing baby um, with your job requirements. Um, how can you care for maybe an older child? You know, maybe this is your second or subsequent um, child that you're pregnant with currently, and you need to know, okay, what's the best way for me to um, take care of my growing body, but also to be a caregiver, right? Um, we also know exercises to help correct for posture, to bring flexibility back to your body for strengthening. I mean, you're, you're getting ready to have this baby, right? And so it's pretty physical, demanding um, event. And so having enough strength, um, not only um, you know, around your hips and that, but even looking at what is the strength of your pelvic floor to be able to support your growing um, belly, okay? In your hips and all of that stuff. Um, so the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecologists re recommends 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week throughout pregnancy. Um, women who exercise throughout pregnancy recover faster and lose their weight faster. They're at a reduced risk for problems during the pregnancy and their babies are healthier. So it does, um, you know, it is a very good idea to stay active while you are pregnant, but if you're in pain or if you're not quite sure how you should be moving, um, that can cause a lot of uh, anxiety. So having someone like a specialist physical therapist going through that with you can be very um, helpful. Let's see, patient education I mentioned. So just doing um, some education on different birth positions that you can help, especially if you do have some pre-existing aches and pains. Like what is the best position that you should be in? Is it squatting? Is it sideline? Is it, um, you know, hands and knees and, and things like that? So you might not have thought about that if you're pregnant, that there are different positions. You don't have to just be on your back laboring. Um, that's not the best position for your back if you have pre-existing um, SI joint pain, hip pain, um, and back pain okay so actually giving you some options there too and educating so some of the things that I don't work on um, I wanted to say some of the contraindications if this is uh, happening during uh, pregnancy like if there's a uterine uh, bleed if the cervix is incompetent if there's a high-risk pregnancy um, if sexual intercourse is contraindicated so for some of the internal work um, or even some of the, <clears throat> the work with the uterus um, those are Contraindications, meaning those are uh, things that I wouldn't work on, um, certainly without uh, consulting with the uh, the provider, so with a midwife and OB. Um, so, and then also doing any kind of modalities, which I don't actually do in my clinic anyway. But uh, for anybody that's seeing a generalist or seeing somebody, you know, we don't typically do um, modalities like ultrasound for treatment, um, electrical stimulation, laser, and things like that. Okay, so I just wanted to give a little bit of information. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to um, talk to you in depth. If you have uh, specific questions for um, your situation, if you're just curious. Um, so, all right. Thanks for joining in today, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.